Empathic joining is a strategy with the aim of increasing emotional acceptance through increased understanding of the emotional experience of another person. It is a strategy to get below surface recognition that another person is in distress and to gain understanding of the emotional pain that they are experiencing. It is the process of sharing vulnerabilities with another person reciprocally to increase empathy and closeness in a relationship. During effective empathic joining, we are expressing our distressing emotions, our very difficult feelings without accusation. We are also expressing those emotions without expecting or requiring a change from our listener. And as a listener, we are listening to emotions and gaining understanding without expecting that the speaker will change. Empathic joining is a communication exercise of trust. To be effective, each party must commit to several things. First, each party must commit to listen with a heart and mind to understand the experience of the other person. Then, they must commit to honor the emotions of the other without judging, demeaning, or dismissing those emotions. They don't have to agree with them, but they do have to honor them. Next, as a speaker, each party commits to express their own emotions honestly. They commit to express their emotions without making accusations or placing blame for where or why those emotions surfaced. Finally, each party commits to make an honest attempt to identify with the emotional distress expressed by the other in order to increase their own understanding. This strategy builds empathy through understanding and vulnerable sharing. It can support a variety of relationships, including marriage relationships, family relationships, close friendships, work relationships, church and ministry relationships. And it can be used to help gain understanding on the emotional experiences that we all experience differently based on a number of factors, including race, gender, cultural backgrounds, faiths or faith communities, family backgrounds, your generation or age, and historical experiences. Although this practice is frequently talked about in the context of integrative behavioral couples therapy, it is useful for building understanding and empathy in all kinds of relationships over all kinds of topics and issues. Through this strategy, we can actively live out several important biblical instructions. We can rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn, as Romans 12.15 in the NIV says, or as the Living Bible translates it, when others are happy, be happy with them. If they are sad, share their sorrows. In Galatians 6.3, we are told, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ, from the NIV. The message paraphrases this verse saying, stoop down and reach out to those who are oppressed share their burdens, and so complete Christ's law. If you think you are too good for that, you are badly deceived. This practice is a great way for us to walk out our faith in relationship with other people.